Meet Brutus. The Humane Society of Missouri Animal Cruelty Task Force rescued him and 26 other Yorkshire Terriers from a property in Newton County. When investigators arrived, the scene was heartbreaking. Some dogs were inside filthy, cramped crates. Others were living outside without enough shelter to protect them from the impending winter weather. Feces and urine were everywhere. Just look at these poor dogs. Every single dog was suffering from severe flea infestation. The resulting skin infections took most of their hair and the fur that was left was filthy and matted. This is not something that happens overnight. These dogs were neglected for a long time. I feel sick thinking about what life must have been like for these dogs. All those dogs just looking to be loved and that love never came until the Humane Society of Missouri got involved. After they were rescued, Brutus and his friends received treatment at the Humane Society of Missouri. They were all in terrible shape. The dogs were so severely neglected, they were missing fur, missing teeth. They were suffering from untreated infections. Rehabilitation took weeks, for some dogs, months. Fortunately, Brutus was able to go to a new home pretty quickly. This is Brutus's story. Brutus is so quick. Um, he's a speed demon. He's a jumper. Oh yeah. He well, he's kind of a prancer. Brutus is definitely, I would say, a prancer, little mighty dog yeah. type. Thirty minutes of playtime for him is hard work, and then he has to nap for another four hours. <laughs> when we first got him, everything outside kind of scared him. Yeah. Um, it was all brand new. Yeah. Everything. So he's, he's made some good adjustments. We actually made a joke about it when we were getting ready to adopt him that day because they had this backpack for a dog. And I said, no, I don't, I don't need a dog that's going to be in a backpack. The following Saturday, we went back down and bought the backpack, the backpack. for the dog. So <laughs> <laughs> we took him to the Soulard Market one day. And he was interested to find out what was going on, but he was still Everything just scared him so bad. Yeah. So I ended up carrying him most of the day. And that's when I decided, yeah, we're going to go get the backpack. That way he can be out when he's ready to have that shelter. We'll put him in the backpack. He's got his own space, you know, and he can still, you know, get out there and experience all the sounds and smells and kind of work with him so he can get more socialized. So he's getting there. He's getting better. I didn't realize that Soulard Market, you're not actually supposed to take your pet inside. There's reason number two for a backpack. They exactly. don't even know he's in there now. Well, we're not <laughs> supposed to <laughs> smuggle the dog places, but he does go with us. Well, he's got uh, two big brothers. They're there both cats, <laughs> and they are about three times his size. And he still runs the show. When they think nobody's watching, they actually snuggle. So the dog can lay on the cat, and it's, it's so cute. This little dog has made me so happy. I didn't know that I would be this happy. He's brought joy and laughter to our house, and you know, we've had some some things happen in the last couple of years that have been rough and he he really has made me feel like that joy inside that I hadn't felt in a really long time. He's always happy. Yeah. I mean, if you had the bad day at work and whatever went wrong, as soon as you come through the door, you let him out of his kennel and out to the bathroom and he's just bouncing around all over the place with his little mighty dog jump and <laughs> He's just cheery. Everywhere he goes, he just draws a crowd because he's so, he's so cute. He's the star of the show. He is, yeah, absolutely. 